I've been sanding this piece of furniture for about yeah, four days and get ready to finally paint it. We'll see how long that takes me. It shouldn't take a while. I'm doing a beach island blue or something, some kind of pink color that reminds me of the Caribbean. It matches with the aesthetic of my little yoga room and I'm pretty excited. This is gonna be my little plant stand. It's gonna hold all my, my seeds and uh, plant food and I'm gonna have an arrow garden on top so it's gonna look pretty elegant have a light light serene colors kind of has that fairy bohemian vibe I don't know what to call it really but um, probably gonna replace a knob too kind of just have an image in my head and we're gonna see how it turns out this is very fun I'm finding this um, just a really fun project to do and I hope it works out and I'm not sure if it was right to choose the matte paint over the gloss paint but I, I just wasn't feeling that shiny paint vibe I feel as though when it's a piece of wood it should be matte can't wait to flip the design the tips see okay. that yeah listening to a podcast the Justin Long podcast life is short I like it kind of gives me the feeling of nostalgia and he's interviewing Tom Green who remembers the Tom Green show I think it came before Jackass OG's oh, out here I mean that show was hilarious I should have told you that I love
I just set up my home office slash video game den and I'm really excited about it. Anyway, so this is my home office. It's the one extra room that we have in our house. I decided that I'm probably going to put, you know, keep this shelf pretty simple, put our Coast Guard memorabilia over here. I've gotten rid of a lot of books. I also, this is the TV that I bought in 2015. I'm not ready to get rid of this. I like to hold on to my stuff for as long as I can. But I just found out that PlayStation is coming out with a PS5 November 2020. And oh, I'm so frustrated because I've been behind on a lot of video games. And I know that there's going to be this impulsive rush to get the new system. And with the new system, you have to have... 4k and I don't believe this TV is 4k so I'm gonna be super upset if Tomb Raider or some cool video game releases and it's only on the PS5 system but usually when they come out with new video game systems there's a transitioning period where excuse me it's your excuse usually when they come out with new video game systems <laughs> he's <laughs> There's a transitioning period where they put video games on both the old system and new system and they gradually get people to get into the habit of purchasing PS5 games. But anyways, um, I got my chair here and the coolest part is I got my office set up. Um, it's a little cluttery at the bottom but I'm really liking this desk that I got from Overstock. And I was a, I was upset when I got the package at first because they only delivered me this side of the desk and I didn't get this until a few days later and I thought I was scammed or something, but I got it and it's nice. It wasn't too expensive at all and um it's a bit smaller than the desk that I used to have. So I'll this is my personal laptop and this was the desktop by uh, Windows that I used to use for school. I For some reason when I do school work I need to be and uh, using a monitor. That's just how I operate. Uh, I like to use like multiple windows and I just need a bigger screen and all that jazz but this is my fun computer that I invested in. It's a MacBook Pro. So I just got back from a three mile walk with Joey. I've been trying really hard to keep her on her agenda to getting fit. And my husband is still compromising that with feeding them extra food. We're working on that and I'm just trying to uh, just keep her active. Uh, she's getting better with moving around. I also wanted to share this uh what is the name of this oh, okay there's this new store that we have in Issaquah and it's called all the best pet care it's a really cool little small dog business and um for signing up with the rewards program they gave us this free bag and it's adorable it has a picture of uh the needle what's that what's that seattle building kane Space needle. Oh, okay, yeah, it has a picture of the Space Needle, and it has a separate side for dog lovers, and it gives that Pacific Northwest vibe. I think it's a cute bag. So I'll show you what they put inside this little cute bag. They gave us two toys, um, little squeezy toys, which we don't generally give our dogs. They, they don't manage to keep their toys over a day. They just rip it to shreds. And um, I don't know what the hell this is. Is this an apple, a pear, a broccoli? I think this is a broccoli. It's a broccoli. Yeah, so broccoli, squeezy toy, and corn. Broccoli and corn. Oh, how cute. It's corn. So one for Rogue and one for Joey. They also gave us these four little cute uh, raw bite snacks which would be perfect for hiking freeze dried turkey recipe 
and a chicken recipe. Free samples of these and if they like it, we could probably get the bigger quantity of the items. So this would be perfect for taking on hikes. Like you carry your little treats, it's running its own bag. So I wouldn't have to use any plastic bags for that. And I can save this bag to put all their medications, their hair brushes, their teeth supplies. So really cool, cool business. All the best pet care, great customer service. They had good pet goods, high quality pet food. They had Nulu and a couple of other uh, different Canadian brand dog food. The uh, workers there were super friendly, very affable people. So I am definitely gonna make this my my staple. This store right here will be the store will, where I'm gonna be purchasing their dog food. So like that. What else is going on? It's Saturday. I have a couple of cards to send send out to a friend and my aunt. And I am gonna go stop at Safeway and I got a couple of coupons. It's a great thing when you first move, you get a ton of coupons. So I am going to get a couple of items that I need and I do wanna get acorn squash. It is fall, it is the season. I'm gonna get um, an acorn squash so I can make some squash soup. I steamed up some carrots and sweet potatoes so I can share that recipe later. Super delicious, I just wanna prepare a couple of items for the week so I wouldn't have to do any of that. This house is very old, um, but we love it. Put those two frames on this shelf. Keep it very simple, looking good. Hi guys, this is me from the future a few weeks ahead and I'm just realizing I once again didn't close out this video. So I do apologize for that. I know everything seems pretty scatterbrained with my videos and when I'm posting and I just want to come on here and say thank you if you've been sticking around and just getting my house ready and starting a new job. So I've been a little bit scatterbrained and I appreciate you just bearing with me. I do have a lot of plans to put out a lot of videos um, sharing my perspective and stories of relocating to different places. So I'm a huge freak on organization and I am going to go hard on pushing out videos that are related to organizing. I love being a semi-OCD individual and I have many spaces to organize and it's going to be great. And also I just want to check in. How are you guys doing? We are coming close to the holiday times and I know everybody can be pretty stressed around the holiday season both with budget, with finding work. I know a lot of people have things on your plate and I just want to say I hope everybody's doing good and just remember to stay balanced and keep doing you. Remember to take care of yourself, even if you're taking care of others and a family and children and your parents. Just remember that to be your best self, you do have to work on you. Thank you for sticking around. I appreciate you. I'm looking forward to getting to know you, getting to know the people who watch my videos, and I am very excited to share this. The best thing that I can share is to get outside, you know, wherever you are. Just try to go outdoors and take a step back from your screens, from your video games and your TV shows and remember what's really out there. Take it all in. <laughs> take it all in in silence, no AirPods, no podcasts, just listen to nature. I know that sounds very hippie, dippy or whatever, but I think that's what's really helped me um, during this transition period. Anyway, take care. Um, Keep doing you and stick around. I'll see you guys soon.